I have been thinking a lot about my sacred space, things that mean something to me, and this is a work in progress. Um, so I'm going to show you right now where I feel like my sacred room and eventually a table that has my altar and stuff on it. But for now, it's kind of a makeshift altar on my dresser. But I want to show that to you. So here it is. I know that sunflowers signify hope. And then I'm just a, a like a crow. I'm an eclectic collector. <laughs> and I'm all, I don't know why, okay? I've always on to these two fairies. It just occurred to me today they were fairies, Sarah. Who would have thought? I've had the, those forever. Then I have my elephants. These are, this one's my favorite of all time because that's who I look like inside. Wild and crazy, ready to fight and always wanting to have fun. This key back here was something that was my father's. He had it hanging in his bedroom forever. It has a butterfly on it that reminds me of my granddaughter Zoe in heaven and my grandson Michael. He's in heaven too. I have another grandson, Michael, who's alive and well. It was his brother. This picture back here is my name and it reminds me that I am not the things, the horrible things that people said about me as a child and even say about me today. It reminds me that I have a good heart and I have a good spirit and I have a light that I can shine. So that's my altar. Got another elephant up here I like. I'm sure I have lots of elephants. This is my father's blanket of valor. I just have to put the binding on and I'm done with it. I've been working on it for almost two years and it has pictures and things that speak to my heart about my father especially the frog my dad's name was Elmer Tadpole I grew up with the last name Tadpole and my dad had that kind of sense of humor the frog that's one of my favorite pictures of my me and my daddy. It's two of my granddaughters, my youngest two, Bella and Courtney. There's Destiny, the new mom of twins. My gorgeous daughter, Alicia. The last picture me and my daddy took together. This is my whole family. My kids, grandkids, except for one, he wasn't here yet. And the two great-granddaughters, they weren't here yet. But that's when my son and, and my beautiful daughter-in-law, Victoria, got married. This is a print that I made that I called Goodbye Too Soon. And I made it a long, long time ago, and I didn't realize it was to say goodbye to my dad. My dad was in the Navy. We are of the Wolf Clan, so that's where that comes from. These two pictures here, oh, sorry, it's my dad wearing the same shirt that this saying came from and the center picture came from. We're Cherokee, among other things. He's Cherokee and Irish, and then we got Scottish and other stuff on my fam my mom's side, but he embraced Native American stuff, and I'm proud of him. So, anyways, sorry, this isn't a perfect video. This is just me, raw and real, as usual. So, what I'm going to do right now, when I moved in here, I didn't have time to pray through my house like I always did before in other places because I was busy taking care of my mom, and then my dad got sick and died a few months later, so 
everything that I ever would have done, I didn't do. So I'm going to do it now. And I may not sound very reverent, but trust me, if you could see my spirit inside, this is a very sacred, holy moment, and I would not share it with anybody that would mock me. Because honestly, I don't need your negative energy, and you can take it somewhere else. I am sharing it with my tribe, my soul inspiration tribe. Each one of you are very, very special to me. And the energy and and the color and the spirits that I see are beautiful. I, I just... I don't have words for it, okay? I don't. And I don't understand everything that's going on with me, but I know... I got a vision last night that I'm like the butterfly inside trying to break out of the cocoon, the caterpillar, when it's time to break out. And when I get out, I may fly around clumsy for a minute, but one of these days I'll get it. But I know that you guys love me and it's okay. So I am going to take you on my journey to cleanse my house today and do the best I can, and I wrote a prayer for it, so I'm going to light my stuff, and read my prayer, and do my sage, actually dragon's blood sage, so here we go. I hope I don't burn my house down. Because I've never done this before. New to me. And in the spirit world, I don't believe in time and space. I believe everything is happening all at once. So if you're watching this video, I would appreciate it if you would send positive energy and light and agreement my way. Because I really do see this as very sacred. And i got to wipe the tears out of my eyes so I can read my prayer I wrote. God, my Abba Father, my Creator... Jesus, my sacred brother, my precious Holy Spirit, and my other spirit guides and ancestors who surround me with their love and positive energy every day, please come now with me and assist me in releasing any negative spirits, negative energies, negative intrusions. I cast them out of my home. The only things that are allowed to enter my home from this day forward are those that are for my highest good and in your divine alignment. Please cleanse the energy in my body, my home, and my spirit. Lord, set your angels around every window, door, and opening in my home to protect it all, protect it all and all inhabitants from within, from any negative spirits or energy. Nothing shall enter that is not of you. I command any negative, unclean energy or spirit to leave my home immediately. May this home be a place of peace and restoration to all who enter. May it be blessed by you and may it and all inhabitants honor you. And I pray this all in the name of Jesus. Amen. So. Here we go. 
I really don't know what I'm supposed to say after that, other than just watch the smoke go away. I can't open my windows, but I did, sorry, open my front door. So I'm just going to let the smoke go through my home, through every window. all the openings. That's a gift from my children. That's my family, my little family, who I love more than I know how to say. I cheat sheets for interviews. <laughs> yeah, I can care. Anyway, I'm trying to be sacred and here I'm being silly. But I think, I seriously think that God has a sense of humor. If he didn't, I wouldn't want to serve him because I'm kind of twisted sometimes. This is my art room. Lord, I just ask that your creative energy the energy that I felt when I came in this house and into this room that day. That's my vision board. And Lord, I just ask you everything that's on there, that it be brought to fruition. That's a painting I did of my daughter. Um, but seriously, God, I ask you to please just bless this space with imagination and creativity that just runs crazy and wild in me. Because I have all these pictures you give me, and I need to know how to bring them out. This is what I call the unfinished portrait. This is of my granddaughter Zoe, who I know spirit is here right now. Lord, I just ask that you take all the negative energy, all the fear of failure, and everything that goes through me sometimes and blocks me from creating. I ask you to take it out of me. Give me your peace. Give me your spirit. And help me. I don't pray for me very often. But I need your help. This is my hallway. I told you my favorite color was purple. <laughs> to relight this stuff. I don't think my light is strong enough. Lord, I just made the smoke of the incense and the blessed spirit of all my ancestors, all the higher powers, Jesus, God, Holy Ghost, and everybody just inhabit this place. Lord, everybody that I have in pictures and artwork and every, all this creativity around me, Lord, I just ask you to bless it and I ask you to give me all kinds of positive energy no negative. I cast it out. No more negative energy. No more black clouds. No. No more gloom. No more doom. No more sickness. I command it to leave my home now. Not to come back. Lord, you gave me this place as my place of peace. I will not let it be stolen. Oh, Lord, just remind me that you're carrying me when I'm scared. You didn't give me this house to take it away from me. 
to help me find my way. Lord, I thank you for everything. I especially thank you for the people that you have brought into my life, my soul tribe, and others, and other things. Because I wouldn't be here without them. And one last thing, while I'm doing something that my mind thinks is absolutely crazy. <laughs> Bless Sarah, knock her socks off with recovery and strength and health, and take care of my friend Lisa, my soul sister, the one that led me. She's been the brightest light for me. So, I think I'm done, and I hope this didn't turn out absolutely nuts. And you know what, even if it did, I don't really give a shit. I'm doing magic and shit, like Damian always says. And like Tammy Winkler said last night, spread that, mad spread that shit around. <laughs> I love you guys.